Hi guys. Hi guys! Welcome to Keto Cafe. And today we're making one of my favorite comfort foods, chicken pot pie. Chicken. Mm, keto style, that's right. Pie. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, let's show you guys how to make this. Let's do it. for the chicken keto pot pie. Uh, for the semi-top crust that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna do a uh, mozzarella and almond flour combination. For uh, portioning later, I'll show you guys how to do that. For the filling, I have the Trinity onions, carrots, and celery, and a little bit of broccoli just for color, and cooked chicken breast. And then um, I'm going to be using cream, uh, xanthan gum, and I'm gonna be using this uh, keto bone broth it has ketones in it. Uh, if you guys don't have this, uh, you can also just use uh, chicken broth. But today we're gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Uh, make sure to check it out if you guys wanna uh, get some of that. All right, we're gonna put in one tablespoon of butter. Melt that down. As soon as that gets melted down, I'm gonna put in our trinity of onions, celery, and carrots. I'm gonna put in the broccoli in as well. All right, you guys wanna make sure to watch that. Nothing burning, okay? Stir constantly. Medium to low heat. I have some hot water right here. I'm not gonna be using the whole packet because it is quite strong and I'm only gonna be needing about a cup full of water. So I'm gonna use about a third. I'm gonna mix that in. So essentially this is what I'm gonna be using as chicken stock. But like I said, you guys are more than welcome to just use regular chicken stock. You're better taste. Okay. All right, once the onions and carrots have been sweated down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add my broth. That's in. I'm going to add about a cup of full cream. We're gonna mix that up. And we're gonna cook that down. Let's make the pie crust. We're gonna need one cup mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna microwave this for a minute. Now that the cheese is all melted, I'm going to add one fourth of almond flour. There you go. Easy enough. teaspoon of xanthan gum. Make sure that it's mixed well. That's going to thicken. And I'm going to drop the cooked chicken in there. 
and then you just let that sit. Make sure we're stirring constantly. Okay. We're gonna take the dough, put it in between two parchment papers. touch of parmesan to make this creamy. Half a cup, not too much. And then go ahead and taste uh, after you put the cheese in, we're gonna taste and then we're gonna season if needed. All right, we just seasoned this. And this is the consistency that you guys want it to be at. Turn the fire off. Very good. Okay, so the dough is ready. Our dough is ready. And what we're gonna do is we're going to actually slip this in the middle, like this. So later on, when we bake it, 350, all right, we're gonna bake this for 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the dough on top is golden brown. All right. We're gonna bring our mixture. And we're going to load it up. Let's get all of that in there. That smells so good. And because we use that keto bone broth, it is actually seasoned with thyme, so that fragrance is so good. All right, so now we have that. We're going to put our crust on top. Nothing too fancy. I'm just gonna make sure that it's all covered. And then we're gonna pop this in a preheated 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. All right. All right guys, let's put this in. for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, let's go take a look at this pie. Try this. Yes, right. I am. Let's get you a piece of the crust. So looks wise, it's actually really good. It looks like the original pot pie that you would get at a grocery store that I would make. And it smells amazing. I smell the thyme. I smell the different veggies with the seasoning. Mm, it's thick. Wow, this is way better than I thought it would be. Wait, I haven't tried it yet. Wow, that's really, really good. It's actually perfect. Mm. It's not bland, it's not salty. It's, it's the correct amount of seasoning in there. I think that keto uh, bone broth um, really worked in this That's case. really good. Mm -hmm. And the dough is crispy outside. Yeah. It's very cheesy at the same time. And of course, very low carb, which is what we want. This is really good. I'm so happy because you have a whole pie of this. <laughs> you can eat it anytime. It'll be a good um, thing to cook for meal prepping, right? Yeah, definitely. All in all, it took about 
40, 45 minutes to make. I mean, 30 minutes of that is going to be in the oven. So, mm. it tastes really good. Um, wow. Very creamy. Mm-hmm. This is way better than using a can of cream of chicken. So, so I was looking at the cream of chicken cans, right? And for one can, it was like about 20 grams, mm -hmm. 20 grams of carbs per can. And I was going to be using at least two of those. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I can do something better. Maybe I can just use like cream and throw in some Parmesan to make it a little creamy. Mm -hmm. And it worked. I mean, this if, is so good. if you look at the, the consistency of the oh, filling, yeah. I mean, it's pretty it's creamy. It's very, very thick. Mm. The color is beautiful. It has the veggies in there. Oh my gosh. You did a really good job. Thanks. Mm. Definitely comforting. Once again, guys, thank you for always watching our videos. Yep. And if you guys ever want to request any kind of videos, please subscribe and hit that like button. Yep. Comment down below what kind of food you want me to make next. We really thank you guys for watching our videos. Until next time, bye. Bye guys, thank you.